Greetings to all of you. My dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, and all of you are welcome to my new broadcasting in The Secret Place. This is your pastor, Yeti. And today we are in Psalm 38, the effects of sin in our lives. And our key verse for today is, Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not be far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Psalm 38, verses 21 to 22. <coughs> Excuse me. Sin is an unnatural, is unnatural for a Christian. Yet it is not uncommon for us to yield to temptation and to be drawn away from the Lord by self-serving desires and carnal influences. The tendency is to rationalize and justify our behavior and attitudes, reacting spitefully when someone mellings us or takes advance of us, indulging in sexually explicit lusts and giving place to anger that attacks and tears down one we should love. Marital infidelity is rampant. Many carry the guilt of past mistakes or struggles with lifestyle habits in conflict with the holiness and purity to which God has called us. There is no doubt regarding the convicting power of God in response to our sin. This is because we have been united with Christ, and any attitude or behavior that is contrary to what Jesus would be do becomes apparent to us. And over the years, God has nurtured me in a pattern of earnestly seeking Him, asking Him to reveal any sin in my heart or anything I have done that is displeasing to Him or hurtful to others. His revelation and insight lead me to confession and a beautiful experience of receiving assurance and forgiveness and cleansing. However, conviction often requires us to confess to others and make restitutions. It also enables us to grow and overcome the subsequent power of sin. But to live with the awareness and consequences of one's sins is a horrible existence. The burden of our iniquities has an effect on our physical well-being. It is a feeling of arrows piercing our body or being pressed down. When we tolerate sin, we feel crushed, our heart is agitated, and the joy is gone, displaced by mourning and sighs of helplessness. Sin affects our relationships with others, with family, colleagues, and loved ones. Because it is impossible to relate to them with integrity and transparency, enemies of our spiritual walk size the opportunity to lure us by their snares to doubt God's goodness and leads us on a path that leads to destruction. The light goes out of our eyes, that is, we lose perspective in life and cannot discern the Lord's will make wise decisions or envisions to hope that God has placed within us because God seems far away. Of course, the answer is to hope in the Lord. The only solution is to come humbly to the Lord, pleading with Him not to forsake us as we deserve. We must realize He is not far from us. He is our salvation and He will hasten to forgive, and to help us. Let us pray. Lord, Convict me of my sin, 
not just my actions but attitudes that separate me from you. Forgive and cleanse me that I may be restored to the joy of your salvation. I pray and ask this in the wonderful and powerful name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. My beautiful people, it is so important to ask the Holy Spirit to convince you that He helps you to see where there is still sins or an attitude that comes in the light of Christ, that He can forgive us and He helps us to make our life more purified in Him. We can not hide ourselves always and say, well, we're still human. You know, this is a very... I don't even have a word for that. This maybe is an excuse. We have our way in Christ. We have our joy in Christ. We have our journey in Christ. And he didn't only say to his, to his disciples, follow me. He also said, abide in me. And that makes it complete. Walk with him and abide in him. Why? Because he knows that we, as his loved ones, are still human and need to be very close to him, to the very close heart of God. Because we make mistakes, we hurt others, as others do to us. But there is no excuse to say, well, I'm still, no. We have a way to go. And he goes with us. So let your heart be full of joy and insight and beauty for your Christ. Blessings to all of you, my dear ones. This is your Pastor Yeti. I love you guys. Bye.